Well, last week, Pete Davidson did a feature here on Weekend Update that caused some controversy. Here to set the record straight is Pete Davidson. And what I'm sure was a huge shock for people who know me, I made a poor choice last week. <laughs> I made a joke about Lieutenant Commander Dan Crenshaw. Dan? Dan Crenshaw, and on behalf of the show and myself, uh, I apologize. Uh, my poor mom. He was being poor mom. mom. He was being my mom. That must suck. <laughs> he was being Pete Davidson's mom. It can't be easy when everyone's mad at your son and roommate. <laughs> But I mean this uh, from the bottom of my heart. It was a poor choice of words. Uh, the man is a war hero, and he deserves all the respect in the world. And if any good came of this, maybe it was that for one day, the left and the right finally came together to agree on something. That I'm a dick. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Thanks for making a Republican look good. Uh, <laughs> stop saying that. Man. I've been saying it all day. <laughs> Please, look, I just wanted to say, uh, for people that don't know, uh, the reason you're wearing an eye patch right now is that you lost your eye to an IED in Afghanistan during your third combat tour. And uh, I'm sorry. Thank you, Pete. I appreciate you saying that. So we good? We're good. Apology accepted. Just keep breathing. <laughs> Do you know her? Last week, uh, I made a joke about a picture of you, and I feel like uh, it would only be fair if you got me back and made fun of a picture of me. Does that sound good? I, I don't really need to do that. No, come on. I, I deserve it. All right, please. All right. <laughs> First impressions with Lieutenant Commander Dan Crenshaw. Thanks, Colin. This is Pete Davidson. He looks like if the meth from Breaking Bad was a person. So we're even. All right. Hold on. One more. This is. He looks like a troll doll with a tapeworm. That's good. We should wrap this up. Oh, hold on. No, this, this is fun. This is fun. Hold on. He looks like Martin Short in the Santa Claus story. By the way, one of these people is actually good on SNL. Oh, oh, you right. <laughs> okay, but seriously, there's a lot of lessons to learn here. Not just that the left and right can still agree on some things, but also this, Americans can forgive one another. We can remember what brings us together as a country and still see the good in each other. This is Veterans Day weekend, which means that it's a good time for every American to connect with a veteran. Maybe say thanks for your service, but I would actually encourage you to say something else. Tell a veteran, never forget. When you say never forget to a veteran, you are implying that as an American, you are in it with them not separated by some imaginary barrier between civilians and veterans, but connected together as grateful fellow Americans. We'll never forget the sacrifices made by veterans past and present, and never forget those we lost on 9-11, heroes like Pete's father. So I'll just say, Pete, never forget. Never forget. And that is from both of us. Thank <laughs> you.